Well, that one gap, that one. Fish on. You got one on there Woo! yet? Look at the tuna sky bomb behind the boat. Man, I can't do everything. <laughs> we just had yellow fins dropping back here. On today's Sportsman's Adventures, we welcome you back to part two of our special Bahamas fishing adventure. Last week, we introduced you to Ian Rademacher, our favorite Bahamian fishing partner, and our special guest, Frank Wilhelm from Yamaha Motors. Frank! Frank! It was the full moon in June, and the mutton spawn was in full swing. We had a bite on every drop. The fishing was fantastic. Most were released, but I did manage to come home and be our special dinner guest. Beautiful, beautiful orange color. It's hard to leave fish to find fish. But on day two of our Bahamas adventure, that's just what we did. Just west of Nassau and off the coast of Andros, there's a fish attractor like no other we've ever seen. Anchored in 10,000 feet of water is the U.S. Navy buoy Nautech. I think I got the bull of this group here. This fish came just doing the coolest marlin jumps, jumping all over the surface. Looked a lot like that one that Tom Mackin caught here last year with Ian. And this is day two of a two-day adventure. And I gotta tell you, man, I got the rod down here in my lower crotch, and man, it's sore from yesterday's mutton snapper. Holy moly. It hurt. Put it in the crotch. Look at it fish up here on the jumping on the surface. Nice fish. Nice fish. Jumping right there on the surface. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Keep coming, Timmy. Frank? You. Welcome to the Bahamas, baby. I love it. <laughs> What's not to love, huh? Now, Ian, let me ask you one thing while I'm thinking about it. We've been here in March. We've been here in April. We've been here in May. Now we're here in June. Does the Bahamas ever have any bad times of the year to fish? Well, not really, but the slowest times of the year are August, September, and October. The hot months. Yeah, out, outside of that, all of the other months, there's pretty good action. Wow. I'm gonna go ahead and get the gaff ready. Has that fish got some weight to it? Yeah, it's a little bigger than what we have in there. I'm telling you, boss, the old belly. It's with, sore from all that yesterday. With the amount of dolphin we have out here today, I'm surprised we haven't seen any marlin jumping because this time of year, they're, they're pretty thick in here. Is that right? Yeah, they're chasing these dolphin. Look and at that small right there. Yeah. Oh, that's Frank got him on, man. See how I Frank got did. He slid one. back here, snuck a pilchard, and now he went up to the front. He's got one on. Wouldn't yeah. be surprised if there's a 1,000 dolphin on this buoy. Really? Yeah. Well, if that's the case, then the big man ought to be around too, huh? Could be. He's coming my way. Could be. But these, these, yeah, these small ones that's seem to be a little way. bit more aggressive. They're going to pick up the baits first. No, I'm just talking about the, the man in the black suit, the big. Uh, the, bl the, blue? the blue marlin or the black. The, uh, I've had blue, him, blue I've marlin had him come in sharks? and take them off my rods. Oh, is that right? Here. Oh, God. I think this fish got. You want, you want me to get you a harness for that, or you got it? Foul hook. No, I got it. Come on back, Frank. I'm coming. He wants to go around the back. I 
think this one's a little bigger. Is he? They're getting bigger. Yeah. Ian, here's mine. Just put him within distance, I'll get him. Oh, look at that jump. Oh, don't go. Where you going? Don't do that. Ugh. Rick, this would be the first bull you caught, right? Could be the biggest one I ever caught. Myself, obviously this thing doesn't have anything to hold a candle to the one that uh, Tom Mackin caught with you last year. But he ain't here right now, and I am. That's right. It's a nice little fish. Oh, listen to how you do me. Nice, look at that, Frank! Whoa. Daddy don't play with no games with no babies. That's a nice look fish. at that. Well, how pretty that thing is. I got the tail in. I don't know if I want to have the tail, but I got the tail. Hey, you gave him one of them piercings like those guys that have them on the eyebrow piercing. All Isn't right. That beautiful. Oh. All lit up like that. Spectacular. I go ahead and get the hook out of him. You got, you got, you got him, buddy. You want me to let his tail go? You can, yeah. Freak, what is that fish? How much pounds? that fish weigh, Ian? 25? Yeah. There you go, 25. Frank? I've what got you one. got over here? I got a oh. little, little guy. Little Look brother. at the colors on him. Lit up. This is that beautiful blue. Look at that little blue. That one gap, that one. Fish on. You got one on there, Ian? Woo! Look at the tuna sky bomb behind the boat. The Metropolitan Miami Fishing Tournament held from mid-December through mid-April. Today, it is the world's largest fishing contest. The captain had decided to work south today, down towards Fowey Rock Light. There's a fish after the Bonita Strip. Okay, drop it back. Cool. Drop back some more. He's got it. It's a sailfish. A beauty. Look at him go. He really knows he's hooked. And one of South Florida's most treasured angling prizes is voted for entry in the Metropolitan Fishing Tournament. The victory is raised, and proudly, Betty and Jack head back for Pier 5 to weigh and register another contest entry. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by the fishing capital of the world. Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Rapala. Williamson Lures. Maverick Boats. Minn Kota. Humminbird. La Jolla Resort. Power Pole. Swift. Silent. Secure. Why is Yamaha your best investment? Just ask Captain Buddy LaPointe. In the charter business, I can't afford downtime. My Yamaha 150 four-stroke is the most dependable, trouble-free outboard I've ever run. This clean-burning, quiet, fuel-efficient Yamaha four-stroke is the most versatile outboard in the Yamaha lineup. Best in the best, the clean, quiet, dependable Yamaha F-150. Yamaha, because your best investment starts right here. Happy birthday, Yoni. If fish were this easy to find, you wouldn't need Humminbird side imaging. Amazing picture-like images and a 480-foot side-to-side beam eliminate unproductive water fast, so you'll be at their front door in no time. Humminbird, simply, clearly, better. Fishing all my life and seen some pretty cool things on the water. I've seen a 180-pound tarpon jump in my boat. I've seen giant snook slam live bait, and I've also seen super shallow redfish I can easily pull to. 
I've seen a lot, and a lot has changed, except my boat builder, Maverick Boat Company. Make no mistake about it, Maverick makes the best technical polling skiffs, high-speed backcountry skiffs, and bay boats in the world. Hughes, Maverick, or Pathfinder, number one for a reason. Has your flying or hunting license expired and you need it renewed now? No problem. The FWC has several services that will allow you to buy your license instantly. No matter where you are, in the woods or on the water, all you need is a major credit card. For a small additional service fee, you can purchase these licenses directly online or simply by calling a toll-free number. To get your instant license online, log on to myfwc.com or call toll-free 1-888-FISH-FLORIDA or 1-888-HUNT-FLORIDA. This is the single largest outboarding in Yamaha Marine history. Hey, welcome back to Sportsman's Adventures. And as you can tell, I'm with Frank Wilhelm from Yamaha. And let's talk a little bit about what Yamaha has in store for all of us flats anglers this year. The thing that comes to mind is they have the new SHO lightweight four strokes. We're talking about a 200, 225, as well as a 250. And traditionally, we weren't able to get all these motors in a 20 inch shaft, but now we have that available. So what that basically means is we have four stroke motors with the traditional four stroke, the satisfaction that we got out of the four strokes, as well as now something new to four strokes is a great hole shot. And this mid range throttle response is unbelievable coming out of these 4.2 liter motors. The other thing that comes to mind is for those guys that use the smaller motors, we have a new F70, the lightest in its class, but it also has the highest displacement in its class. It's a fuel injected motor and the fuel savings in these particular motors are great all the way across the board. So what does it mean to you? Is now we have a four stroke SHO VMAX models that are they're efficient, they're lightweight, they're durable and they're reliable. So what does that mean to you guys? Well, simply less is more. It's less weight, it's more displacement, it has less acceleration to get up on plane, it has more mid-range throttle response, more amperage coming out of that alternator with less fuel being burned. So it really is a great lineup of Yamahas coming from 70 horsepower all the way on up to the T's and I've done the math and it basically equates to $50 per hour savings because I'm not having to buy a gallon of oil per hour like we traditionally have to do for those HPDI motors. I'm very excited about what's going on at Yamaha now and I hope that you're able to go down to a dealership and do a test run on some of these motors. Look at the dolphin on there Frank, that's you baby. That's beautiful. Rick, you want to get me a bait? Huh? You need, you need a bait? bait? Yeah. Here comes the papa. Here in. Good job, Frank. Thank you. Go over Ian, Frank, switch sides. Okay. There we go. Ian, you in? Yeah. Okay, I'm looking. Yeah, just one, one of them. Out there, throw them like in separate directions. Huh? Yeah. Let me know when you get close, Frank. Okay. I'll come up there and we'll put him in the fish box. He's getting close. I got him here. Gaffer. He's here. Huh? He's right there, Rick. Oh, he's running. Yeah. Oh, that one. Yeah, that one. Fish on. You got one on there, Woo! Yeah. Look at the tuna sky bomb behind the boat. Man, I can't do everything. <laughs> we just had yellow fins jumping back here. Hold on here. Y'all want me to get the fish? Keep chumming. Oh, that hook's too big for that little old dinky dolphin. <laughs> dinky, that's All the right. biggest dolphin I've ever caught. You'll <laughs> get him in the boat here in a second. There you go. Nice. Nice. Let's get, let's get him in the cooler. 
Frank, we'll get a pigeon in a minute. Don't I'm worry. gonna try a different method of gaffing. What you got? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Keep, keep him nice and clean. <laughs> hey, Frank is hooked up again with another nice dolphin. And be sure to watch Rick demonstrate safe fish handling techniques for the release. Ian, tell me, tell me about this in the buoy we're fishing. Why are there so many fish here? Well, basically, we have a buoy that's anchored out in the middle of the ocean here off of Andrus. We're about six miles off of land here and in about 10,000 feet of water. 10,000 feet. And this, this buoy is anchored to the bottom, and there's a big chain that holds it in place. And that attracts all of the little bait fish in the area. Right. And in turn, it attracts the larger fish. It's a whole ecosystem, basically. And just that one buoy. One buoy. Brings all this activity. To yeah, this it's location. like if you were at the desert and you have one little pond, everything's <laughs> going to be right around right. that pond. It's fantastic. We find a uh, dolphin here, wahoo, marlin, yellowfin tuna. We get big yellowfin tuna here. Rainbow runners. Basically, all of the pelagic species congregate around this buoy. This has two. This has two. This is how a guy from Atlanta and an inshore fishing He's guide off. get the <laughs> kicked out of him. Good job there, Rick. Tackle him. Oh, he smacked me in the face. All right, I'm, I got him in my sights now, guys. I got him cornered. Ah. I got him cornered now. Son of a bitch. I think I got him. I'll get him here in a second. <laughs> Hey. I'm so a good thing that the ring's only 31 feet he, long. He fought hard. Put him back. Oh, Lord. Get out of here, you gun. Good job, man. <laughs> this Conservation Minute is brought to you by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Let's talk about boating safety. It's really great to get out on the water, but did you know that hundreds of people are killed every year in boating accidents? Most of them drown during an accident that happens while fishing or returning from a fishing trip. But there's really an easy way to make sure that doesn't happen to you. Wear a life jacket. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission has kicked off a new boating safety awareness camp there at Florida. Now I know what you're thinking. How am I going to be able to fish with a big bulky life jacket on? Well, that problem's been solved. This inflatable belt pack is comfortable, lightweight, easy to wear, and easy to forget that you even have it on until you're in the water and need it. These life-saving belts will help you concentrate on catching fish and make sure you'll be able to come back and do it again tomorrow. Log on to myfwc.com website and click on Wear It Florida to learn more and spread the word to your boating friends. I'm Captain Rick Murphy and when I'm in the Florida Keys, I stay at the La Jolla Resort, a place for families and fishermen. The La Jolla is located on the bay at mile marker 82.2 and has easy access to the Everglades, the Flats of Ala Mirada, and the offshore reefs are just minutes away. The La Jolla Resort has great dockage, boat ramps, barbecue pits, and swimming pools. So whether your group is small or large, the La Jolla can take care of all your needs. Why is Yamaha your best investment? Just ask charter boat captain and tournament angler George Mitchell. Where I fish, I know I've got the strongest, most reliable outboard there is. For 25 years, Yamaha's innovative technology has produced the best outboards in the water. Tournament after tournament, win after win. The Yamaha F350. Power, reliability, and fuel efficiency. Yamaha. Because your best investment starts right here. Over the past 30 years, I've fished some really hard poor places and caught some really hard The only thing that separated me from those fish was my fishing line, and that's why I choose Suffolk. Suffolk really is abrasion resistant and is a hard poor fishing line. So take it from a hard poor fisherman, with Suffolk, there's nothing you can't catch. Look at this line Think GPS is just for getting you to the water? Think again. The new iPilot wireless GPS trolling system plays like an electronic anchor. Record and retrace productive fishing paths, automatically keep you on any bearing you choose, and take total command of speed and steering. iPilot controls your boat with wireless GPS precision so you can focus on fishing. And it's only from Minn Kota. 
At Contender, we've specialized in building high-performance, top-quality, custom-made boats for more than 25 years. Contender has redefined what a fishing boat can be. We are committed to producing the finest fishing boats in the world. And there has never been a better time to get a great deal on our entire line of Contender boats. Be sure to check out our new generation T-models, the 27, 31, and 33, all available with optional forward seating. We're looking forward to welcoming you into the Contender family of boats. Deep though, right? Yeah. I probably oh, shouldn't put this uh -oh. down, right? There we go. He just woke up, Bob. He knows he's hooked now. Up the line. Should I, I should not put this down now, right? Not yet. No. Took one little run. Ian, what's the biggest tuna you've caught, bud? Out here? Last year at the Boo, I caught a 106 pounder. 106? Yeah. Out there. That's a nice a elephant. Pound test. Nice elephant. You caught any others around here that size? Well, that, that same month I caught five fish that were pounds. No kidding. Right here. Yeah. That's good. So we're in the big fish house. Oh, this is a nice fish. You want the big gaff or the little gaff? That'll work. Oh. He took off right when we Got, came up on the top, Ian, sorry. It's all right, we'll get him. There you go. Gone. He had a weight on it, I think. Sorry, I missed him, bub. It's all right, we'll get him. He turned right to me. You know, how do you gaff one when he's coming right at you like that? He had that side shot. No excuse. He's gone down again. Need a bell, baby? Oh. Ah, you wouldn't say yes if you did. Let me give you a little Ooh. check. How about that? Give him a little poop, poop. Slow down on that. <laughs> Slow down on that. <laughs> Doing good, Ian. How big's the fish? 50? Uh, he's in his high 30s. He'll be 50 by the time we get back to Nassau. <laughs> And the longer he's on him, the bigger he's gonna get too. He's holding tight, I can tell you that. We need to bump ahead with the buoy. Now we're good. Oh, the little tuna circles. Great reels. That's a Tiagra. Tiger 16. 16. Loaded with what? 30? 30. 30. Backed with 50 braid. 50 braid. There he is. I see him down there. There's sushi down there. All those Yamahas. Ooh. Oh. There you go. Oh, that's a bad gaff. Get him in the boat. What do you mean, bad gaff, baby? That's perfect. It's <laughs> a nice Didn't little fish. no meat. Nice. That's a solid that's 40, 40 pound fish. Beautiful. For sure. Just in case you weren't 40, sure. 40, 45 pounds. I want to put those yummies in gear. It's a nice, nice fish, job, huh? Ian. Very nice. That's a good one to end, though, baby. Only thing that make this a little better is. Got it? Yeah. Only thing that make that better, Frank, is some wasabi. 
Yes, there sir. he is, the tuna master. What you guys wanted. Our two-day yeah. island adventure is proof that it's better in the Bahamas. We caught dolphin, tuna, and mutton snapper, and we spend quality time on a great boat with great friends. Being the guest of Ian Rademacher is always a privilege. Ian has consistently put us on the fish. In fact, we've caught some of our best fish with him. I guess you could say that fishing with Ian has been one of Sportsman's Adventure's greatest catches. Thanks, Ian, and thanks, Frank, for making our two-day Bahamas trip another great Sportsman's Adventure. Check out the Sportsman's Adventures website at www.sportsmansadventures.com. Coming up next week on Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy. Nice, Rick. Oh, Ricky had to come and join the bounce the bottom game. <laughs> hey, that B&B fishing, make no mistake about it, guys. If you're not sure what B&B fishing is, that means bouncing the bottom, not Was that bouncing one her bottom. Was yeah, that one cast? Sportsman's Adventures was brought to you by Contender Boats, Costa Del Mar, see what's out there, Trigger X, Suffix Lines, Loop Reels, Ameritrail, custom trailer manufacturers, and by Screen Print Plus, when image matters.